Hey, Tina comes to me with this big idea. She says, we should do a massive makeover in the bedroom. It'll be fun, she says. Well, you know what that means. That's code for G, Mike. How about you move furniture? How about you paint the walls? I've heard it before. After 36 years, you can't fool me. She says, let's start with the bed. I say, how about we paint it? She has an idea. Actually, it's brilliant. It's called chalk paint. We're going to tell you about it. Back in the day when you wanted to paint furniture, you had to sand it all down, really work hard to get all this glossy stuff off and get down in the nooks and crannies. Then you had to come back and paint it with primer. And that was a project. Typically, we would use enamel paint. And when you paint, it tends to run and leaves ugly streaking. Tina says the perfect fix to this is to use chalk paint. Chalk paint seems to be the rage, mostly because it's so easy to use. Now, I've never used it before, so I guess we'll learn about this together. So we began by disassembling the bed, taking it apart so that we could paint each piece. With chalk paint, the prep is simply to wash it down. If you get a hold of some cleaner called TSP, you can get that at Home Depot or Lowe's. Mix it with water, put a rag in it, and just wipe that sucker down. Then you come back with some clean water, wipe that off, and you're done. Today we're using vintage furniture paint from Maison Blanche. The color is Silver Me. Now, you can get this locally in Nolensville, Tennessee at Three French Hens. The great thing about this paint, it sticks to virtually anything as long as you clean it first. With normal paint, you can just use a stir stick to mix it all up, but this paint has chalk in it. I guess that's why they call it chalk paint. If you'll just turn it upside down for a few minutes, shake it up really good, and then you can stir it a little bit before you start painting. This paint is non-toxic, and that's because it has no chemical drying agents in it, but that does mean it takes a little bit longer to dry. The good news is, is as you're putting it on, the paint kind of runs together and smooths out. Brush strokes don't stick out as bad. Good job, baby. See how this works? Good, good job. job, baby. Keep it up. So let it dry to the touch before you put on your second coat. Once you're finished the second coat, give it 48 hours before you get ready to wax. Okay, now that you've got it painted, you can apply either a poly coat varnish or a wax. We chose lime wax in the color of chalk gray. Bought one of these 33 cent chip brushes at the Home Depot and you just brush it on. Get a cloth and just maneuver it around and kind of smooth it out. You should let it dry for at least 30 minutes, sometimes longer, depending upon the directions on the can. And then you can come back and buff it and shine it with another dry cloth. So there you have it. Our bed is reborn. Yay! Tina's happy and we're ready to put this bed to good use. What? <laughs> ah, thank you, Mike. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. How do you enjoy life at home? Share your stories, tips, and pictures with us. Email us at tina at tinakyle.com. And if you or anyone you know is even thinking of buying or selling a home, we would love to help. Until next time, we're, we're the, the Kyle, Kyle team. team. We deliver results that move you.